So this is the first in a series of reviews by CER on the high-end interactive inverter charger systems. This is the Schneider electric hybrid uh, system here and the other two will be the SMA Sunny Island and the Selectronic system. So the entire Schneider Connext hybrid system is located inside this fairly inconspicuous looking cabinet. It just has some basic signage on the front and a little control panel on the side which I'll show you soon. I'll just give you a quick rundown. So we have the battery bank down below, a 48 volt battery bank and we have the inverter and the regulators located in this section which is separated. There's a bit of snow on the mountains in the background. Unfortunately it's a bit overcast so we can't see the full snow cap peaks. But here's the four and a half kilowatt solar array. We have three kilowatts of Canadian solar 250 watt polycrystalline panels facing slightly northwest and one and a half kilowatts of the Trina solar 250 watt polycrystalline panels facing roughly northeast. Both well regarded panels um, have had good reviews and seem to be performing very well. So this system is quite unique in that it's a DC coupled hybrid system which means the solar DC regulators take care of the battery charging and regulating the solar panels as opposed to other systems which use a solar inverter to convert the DC power from the solar array to AC and the um, interactive inverter is just responsible for the AC load side and the interaction with the grid. So the Schneider Electric Connext XW Plus series inverters come in two different sizes. This is the Connext XW7048 inverter charger which is a 5.5 kilowatt continuous output battery inverter which can peak at roughly nine and a half kilowatts surge output which is quite high. The other larger version is the 8048 which puts out continuous of seven kilowatts and peaks around 12 kilowatts so very powerful inverters. So the Connect XW Inverters have quite a straightforward little display with a power switch and a basic battery indicator. We're a little bit low today, being a very overcast day, about 50%, 60% full. Um, the LED display is showing us the kilowatt power output. So about 0.2 of a kilowatt at the moment, so quite a low load. And the indicators on the side show we have the grid connected in AC1. And AC2 is the second input that the inverter has. So you can have two AC inputs, which is quite handy. So this is a DC coupled system. So we are using two DC solar regulators here, the Schneider Connext MPPT 6150 solar DC regulators. This one on the left is regulating the one and a half kilowatt array facing northeast and the other one is facing the, is sorry, regulating the three kilowatt array facing almost north. Now these are actually quite well made, or very well made um, regulators. Um, I was quite impressed with the quality and the performance so far. Um, have very large heat sinks, 
as you can see, which do get quite warm when they're working. And I can just run through the LED display. We have the system, which is the whole system at the moment. And then we can run through. So the system is all interconnected via the Cat5 network cables, which are daisy chained together back to the Connex Combox. And the Combox provides um, multiple features, including, um, of course, the Ethernet connection to the internet, which gives us access to uh, set up and monitor the system. Now this is the system control panel which is mounted on the outside of the enclosure. As you can see it gives us the basic system status, battery level, the load level, battery current, the AC voltage and that type of thing. We can also, since they're all linked together, we can cycle through and see each device independently. There's the inverter, its status, we have the first uh, solar regulator producing nearly half a kilowatt now and the second solar, re solar regulator producing a bit over one kilowatt in absorption stage. Now the thing I find most frustrating about this system though is that there is no state of charge control for the battery. All we have on the control panel is a basic battery level indicator which doesn't really give you a true indication of the state of charge and the only way to cut out the battery when it gets low is via a voltage setting in the software which is not entirely accurate so I'm a little bit disappointed about that um, there is an additional battery uh, monitor which you can purchase which is about $500 which gives you a more accurate state of charge but considering that the system already has all the sensors it needs to determine state of charge it really should be given on the control panel I don't understand why they need a separate battery monitor to give you that information So we here we have the Connex Combox web interface which is used for monitoring and setting up the system. As you can see on the home page we have a simple energy path diagram showing the transfer of power. It's late in the day so we're not generating any solar power at the moment. The sun's gone down pretty much and we have a 200 watt load which is being fed by the batteries at the moment and you can see the battery voltage at the bottom like I said earlier unfortunately there's no state of charge provided anywhere it's purely voltage based which is a little bit frustrating so one thing I really like about the software is the data logging and the detailed graphs it can produce so here's the battery bank summary for today it shows uh, battery bank voltage, current and the temperature and it also gives detailed load plots as well so it's quite useful then we have the setup parameters all the different components go to the inverter we can change its settings and there are loads of settings it's a little bit difficult to find and to actually fine tune the system to do what you want I've had a few issues even with tech support not quite knowing how to um, to, to configure the system to do um, basic self-use of solar power which was a little bit frustrating at first but it seems to be performing quite well now